Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to show you the Dell Display Manager update that you have all been waiting for. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. You'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are most likely here because you want to see what the new features are of the Dell Display Manager. And a lot of you have landed on my video of the Dell Display Manager from last year, but guess what? There has been a software update and it is way better than the video I created last year. So I am happy you're here watching this video. I'm gonna walk you through where do you find the Dell Display Manager for starters, and just some tips and tricks from a user point of view versus a creator. I do work at Dell, but I have not reached out to any product managers about Dell Display Manager. So we're gonna do this together. That is what you can expect from today's video. Really, I'm gonna be sharing my screen and I'm going to walk you through what you should do to download it, where to find it, because I'm not gonna lie, it is extremely difficult to find, so much so that I gave up for a long time trying to find it and I wasn't using Dell Display Manager because it drove me insane to find it. I'm gonna share my screen with you. We'll go into the Google window and right out of the gate, what you're gonna type in Google or any browser of your choice is Dell Display Manager download. Put that in and you're gonna be greeted with a couple of videos here, where to find it, how to download it. But really the best thing to do is click that first thing, support for Dell Display Manager, or even the second one, monitor management. And you can see a couple of videos. I'm probably gonna link this in my video down below. So click on the tutorial of Dell Display Manager if you want more of a Dell point of view than a Jessica or Jess. So let's click here, Dell Display Manager. <laughs> If you would like to download it for Windows 11, you can you can click here, but depending on, I'm gonna click download for Mac OS and download for Windows. And it really gives you what to expect, why doing it, easy management, network KVM, customization, and so forth. It's a really good website if you wanna dive in to more things than I discussed, but we're gonna go ahead and click download for Windows. And right away, it's gonna tell you, oh, there was an update October 28th, 2024. So that is amazing. I don't know if I'm using that version. Uh, hopefully I am, but you can go ahead and click that box and download the selected. And once you do that, you click download, it will show up here in the top right corner in Chrome that it's being downloaded, whether you're using Edge, uh, Edge Explorer as well the Dell system update is there and it will come with documentation and so forth. So that is it in a nutshell from a downloading perspective. You can go ahead and click that if you want. I am not able to download it on my personal device due to the fact that I am not the admin on my work computer. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you where you can find the Dell Display Manager. Because if I have already told you, it was very challenging to download it and like, where is it sitting? I searched in the browser, I searched in the search bar to say Dell Display Manager, it did not pop up. And it irritated me so much to the fact that I have not been using it for a very long time until I just asked someone, wait, hold on a second. How are you using Dell Display Manager? And let me show you. So when you are in your home screen here, your window, sorry that my monitor is extremely stretched, most likely when you're seeing this, but you go ahead and click the little arrow here. You're gonna be greeted with a few different applications depending on your system, but this tiny little monitor window, which is a blue rectangle with a little gear in the middle is Dell Display Manager. It's been there the whole time. If you have a Dell computer, it might even come automatically. So you're gonna press it and I'm going to open the full blown window here so that you can see 
it. Let me just see if I can specifically share this window. No, I have to share my full screen. Sorry about that, everyone. So go ahead and share this window. And this is the Dell Display Manager. If you saw my video in 2023, you are realizing this has gotten a massive facelift. So much so that it looks very similar to the Dell Peripheral Manager. If you have not seen that video as well, um, it looks very similar. So let's go top down. You can pick the very top, depending on what monitors are plugged in. And keep in mind, they need to be Dell monitors. It is a little built-in feature that the monitors have, but you're gonna see my two monitors. And I, yes, I am using the Ultra Sharp. You have caught me, I'm using the Dell Ultra Sharp 40 inch as well as the 30 inch vertically and the 40 inch horizontally, clearly. So I'm gonna fir first focus on the Dell 40 inch. You can look at various layouts. What are the recent layouts that you have used potentially? custom and I am using a custom one right now that that will arrange the windows on my screen exactly how I want them. And then you have two windows, you can slice it into three different ones, four, five, six, seven, depending on the size. Seven is interesting. I'm not sure who would use seven, but I mean, if you have a maybe a 50 inch monitor, that makes sense. So then you're gonna go over to easy memory and you can go ahead and apply profile one, just work uh, office. And you can go ahead and select easy arrange. I like to cut it into three separate windows, uh, sorry, five separate windows, click next. And I can go ahead and say, all right, window number one is gonna be, whoops, window number one, I want it to be Teams, Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna click OK. Window number two, usually three, I'll start with three. So three, it's usually my Chrome browser, always. Is this an option to do? Oh, it is. All right. What else do I have on five? What do I have on five? Also probably browser, different, just a different browser. Chrome. You know what I'm very curious of because usually different document, okay? So they don't want me to do that. All right, well, let's see what else we can do. What do I usually do? It is always a second browser though. So that maybe I'll just click Edge. Um, Windows number four, I like to put my notes down here. I'm going to click notepad or sticky. Oh, sticky notes. This is great. I always put sticky notes all over my desktop. So this is perfect. And I guess I have to do, what am I going to put for number two? Let's do zoom workplace just for fun. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Manually select the profile created, automatically launch at, let's do 8 a.m., 8.05, 8 a.m. Launch during PC startup, finish. Oh, this is so neat. Let's make another one. Okay. Oh, wow. Everything is opening at once. Okay, very neat. You're seeing everything. <laughs> okay, so let's reopen. I wanna get out of this. Let's reopen here. Very neat profile. How do I reopen this? Okay, so I've reopened the Dell Display Manager doesn't really want to fully reopen. I'm gonna exit this, but that is great to know. I have not been using that feature, clearly as my excitement shows, but I will be doing that and I will figure out what does that easy arrange look like for me, usually on a Monday, does it change th throughout the week? And you can create several different profiles with easy arrange. 
Now we can look at the settings. We can do easy arrange with a hotkey. So every time I press F8, it's going to automatically arrange to have my monitors or I can click F8 with H and apply it. That's really good to know. Allow application to split side by side without a gap. Allow only zone positioning when shift key is pressed. Windows application snap, so that snappiness when you drag your applications across your monitor. Do you want to keep that snappiness or do you want to use the Dell Easy Arrange? Love this feature, it's absolutely brilliant. Let's look at that on another monitor just to see if it's different. Of course, it's vertical. Very, very smart of Dell to know that it is vertical and not horizontal. I like that they're giving me easy arrange. I've clearly already used this feature, easy arrange. And because I know what I always use on my computer here, I am going to set that up as just vertical. Just, if this is boring for you, then feel free to move on from this video, this part. But just vertical, I'm gonna show you. In monitor one, I do Outlook always. And usually, what I don't know what else I do here. Sticky, I'll do a sticky. Sticky notes and number three would be let's do copilot. There we go. So you can click next, manually select the profiles created. I can do that or automatically launch at let's for my morning tomorrow. Let's just do 8:30 and see what happens. I'm gonna apply it, and you can't see it because it's on my other one. but it, it has done its thing. Oh, this is great. So let's go back to the Dell Display Manager so that you can see. We'll go back to the 40 inch and we will start at the top. Uh, we've already went through the settings for the monitor, but we're gonna start at the top. Looks like the brightness contrast is not available on the 40 inch, but it is on the 30 inch. So I wonder why that is. I'll, I'll double click on that shortly and I'll come back, but you can go ahead and play with the brightness of the system, which is great. And it's really showing me the, I'm gonna reset that. It's really showing me on the screen that it looks like I'm clicking the buttons on the back of the computer. So that's probably the issue and you can schedule it for nighttime. It can go more dark at night or synchronize between both monitors. But it's interesting that with the 40 inch, you're not able to do that. Again, this is just an example. Most likely you will have a different setting if you're using a different monitor. Now we're gonna have the general input settings, the PIP, PBP, and hotkeys. So I'm using the display port and um, you can use Thunderbolt and HDMI. And you can really talk about the input names and the upstream rename inside, uh, inputs and assign USB connectivity, fantastic. You can toggle between positions and you can also utilize hotkeys to switch the input. This is fantastic. I cannot believe that this exists within the software. One thing that I've noticed about a larger monitor is the input. So I find if you do plug in di two different cables into my desktop, you can actually get a nice split between your, uh, your computer. So if you are sharing a presentation, for example, this makes it very hard to share a presentation because it's so stretched. Most likely people are gonna see the presentation not in the best, not in the best look. You wanna share it on maybe a smaller screen because right now I have not figured out how to share PowerPoint where it's not taking up the full screen besides using a secondary cable to split the monitor in half. Now we can look at the color. I don't like to mess around with any of the color. I really like to use the auto function of what this would look like, but it looks like you can play around from a display to game, movie, or desktop. 
the display brings out a nicer color actually than the gaming. Gaming looks a little bit washed out. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to the display. So you can pick the refresh rate. I have clicked the refresh rate to 120 hertz, but you can play around with all of them. Wow, lots of options here. Again, this is my 40 inch monitor. You might be using a different one. You can put, pick the size of applications. Mine are at 120, getting older. Landscape, portrait, or flip. So traditionally, if you didn't have this application, you would have to go to display settings to do this. And smart HDR, so you can turn it on or off. Just turned it off, my screen went black. I'm gonna have to reopen this to turn it back on. All right, it's probably gonna go black again. It didn't, it did. Now, this might be a great time to ask you if you've made it really this far in the video and you keep watching me doing this, I would love it if you could subscribe. It really helps me a lot, helps me reach new people that I've never potentially re could reach without you. So we go back to the easy range, which we've already gone through that. I think that's the most interesting of this video. And lastly, or actually KVM support. So you can, with using the Dell Display Manager, especially this monitor itself, not all monitors are the same, but you can connect multiple PCs to this monitor. So I have this monitor set up with a different cable to make sure that I can connect to my laptop for traveling, but also with my PC. And if any guests come into this house and they wanna use this monitor because I will tell you, it's a fantastic monitor. They can come in and go ahead and plug this display into their laptop and be able to use the benefits of this KVM switch. So they're able to switch and have all the peripherals connecting in, but make sure that all other PCs that do connect into this monitor are having Dell Display Manager installed or Dell Display and Peripheral Manager, either or. Uh, to just ensure that that KVM is integrated into the monitor and can make that easy switch. So it says USB KVM sharing keyboard and mouse using USB cable with the integrated KVM on the monitor. And you can go ahead and call PC1 Jess Precision PC using display. And number two, I don't want to name it, but it is with the Thunderbolt and I will, I guess I'll call it guest laptop. There we go. So I can go ahead and set up what I would like this um, system to be like, picture in picture or preferred. I can have potentially two at the same time saying, all right, this is my laptop and this is my PC. I wouldn't need to do that, but in case you want to, you're free to do that with this, which is lovely. And it's, it is already prompting me to make sure that with PC2, it is downloaded. So you can download it for Mac or Windows. Go ahead and finish that. This is really probably the best feature and probably why you're here. Now we can do some personalization, some launching, which really I think it's a repetition from the easier range. And then others, you can schedule a power nap for your monitor, automatically apply the settings when the same model is detected, and you can import and, and do those different capabilities. Okay, so if you have made it this far and you like this type of video where I walk you through some different softwares or industry softwares, I am happy to do that on a more regular basis. You just need to comment down below what you want to see. I love to hear where you're from as well, and even just is this topic resonating for you? Was it good? Was it bad? Everything. I love you all so much and I am so appreciated of this audience, especially if you've made it this far. I am so close to finalizing my new name for this channel because it has really moved over to a tech channel more than a sales over the last couple of years and just wanted to say thanks for coming along for the ride. I will see you next Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.